Good morning, it's AMI day 12. Hope that you guys are doing well. I'm sure a lot of you have heard the announcement that there will be no more on-site instruction. Schools will be closed for the remainder of the year. I'm so sad about that. I'm so sad that I am not gonna get to see y'all's faces. So please, um, you know, as we go through the weeks and, and anytime you want to, please send me pictures or videos of your kiddos and how they're doing. They can send me a little message, a video message. They can do a poster. Um, you can just snap a picture of them. I'd love to just see their faces. Love to add these to the morning message like I did Quinn and Paisley's. So send those to me. Um, my phone number, I think I forgot to put my phone number on there, so I'll make sure to add my phone number um, on my class tag so that you guys can text me those videos and pictures because I so want to see your, your guys' faces. Um, I miss you so terribly much and I'm so sad that I won't get to see you guys again till the end of the year. Um, so this is how we're doing school through May 20th. Um, you will see a letter from Dr. Page that's on my class tag just to help give you um, any more information. We'll continue to update you guys daily as we get information in. So um, that was just kind of some news going on. Um, I want to talk to you guys about the PBS real quick. So I've had some questions um, or some concerns about it. Um, and so I'd love to address all those. Um, just to remind you guys, in those packets, I've attached them. There is the parent letter to do the PBS, how to access it. Um, all of that is in there. Um, and then if you go here, um, you guys can see kind of a checklist to help you guys do things. Now, we, we do want to make this clear. You do not have to do this every day. You also do not have to do all videos every day or even the day that you do it. Maybe you choose to do Monday, Wednesday. You want to do PBS um, or you want to do PBS, you know, one show every day. Um, that's totally fine. Like, however you want to do that. The goal is to do um, three literacy activities two math and two science activities from what they give you. And so again, from that literacy corner. And so I had a parent say, hey, I just wanted to do a literacy activity without one show, can I do that? Absolutely, just pick one show, say that literacy activity will go with Cat in the Hat. We're just gonna watch Cat in the Hat and do the literacy activity. Um, you guys can absolutely do, do that. You wanna do one of the science activities um, that maybe goes with um, Wild Kratz or something like that. Watch Wild Kratz, do the science activity, and then be done. Um, so your goal is just to get through um, three literacy, two math, two science in the week. However that looks for you is, is totally fine. Um, and just make sure that you label in your notebook the date, the activity that you did, and the show that you watched with that. I hope that all makes sense. Keep sending me questions or concerns that you guys may have with that piece of it. I know that's a new piece that we're using. Um, we're just trying to make things simple um, for you guys and give it maybe a little bit more doable for um, the kiddos to get through some of those things. So um, that is on the PBS. Again, you do not have to do, um, you have to do it every day. You can watch just that show or you can watch the shows and pick the activities, however best suits you and your family. Okay, so on Tuesday, you will always have um, math. We do the CGI math that we do in class is gonna be twice a week. So I my video is actually up, it's attached for you. Um, and so you will watch that video either Either you could before, I really encourage you to watch the video after your child attempts to do math and that way they can see it. Um, however, if they do need the video first, absolutely watch the video first, see the strategies that I've shown and then they can try which strategy they like the best on the second set. So however you wanna do that. And the video is up, Miss Rutledge will do the video for Thursday. Um, so make sure, the PBS is flexible and just trying to get those activities in is great and we're real flexible on that. The thing that I really do encourage you guys to not miss is the phonics videos, the math videos that we're gonna put up and the reading video. Um, and so you definitely wanna make sure that your child gets an opportunity to watch those videos and do the activities that go along with it. Um, so, so I've already kind of done some for just for my own notes for this for my video, but this is um, the math that your child will do 
this is the page. If you do not have the printed copy, that's fine. They can just write the date and write the story at the top of their notebook, or just write this. Just write April 7th, CGI math, and I'll know what story it went with. Um, maybe just have them write this set of numbers on their notebook, and so they can absolutely put their math work in a notebook if you don't have the printed copy of the um, CGI. Um, but this will be what you guys do in um, for math so you'll watch that video that i've uploaded and then do the math work um, on thursday is this page that you'll do these two sets of numbers thursday with miss rutledge's video okay so that is the math that is the one video you'll watch along with mrs um sizemore's phonics video again if we go back to the checklist um you've got watch the phonics video um read the phonics story and highlight the feature um, so you're doing the OI, you can um, work on fluency on the words and the sentences, and then you can also work on reading the story and doing your one minute drill with that as well. Um, so that is the phonics, so after you watch Mrs. Sizemore's video, um, then you'll watch my math video that is uploaded, um, practice the math problem. And then you will have that and the PBS video and activities. And like I said earlier, you guys choose um, how you're gonna do that each day. So if it be one show a day with one activity a day, if you do um, the PBS watching, um, maybe multiple shows in a day, a couple activities, and then not do it on the next day, that's your choice. Um, but just kind of go off that checklist. And again, with specifically just PBS, you wanna have the three letter C, the two math and the two science. And then through us, we're doing the videos of the phonics videos. We've got the math activities you're gonna do twice a week with us. And then you'll have the reading activity that you'll do with us as well. Um, so I hope that makes sense. So we're combined with the PBS. We do want the PBS um, activities to come alongside with us. I hope all of that um, absolutely makes sense. I also wanna reiterate that you guys should be pushing yourselves in your reading. So make sure, um, I'd love to really see 20 minutes a day in a chapter book um, that you're reading. Don't forget that you can access um, online books through our library. Um, there may be public libraries. I think that maybe you can do the same thing. Um, so I really encourage you guys to be pushing yourself in your chapter book reading. Make sure that you guys are getting in 20 minutes a day, five days a week, um, trying to grow in your level, take AR test, um, do reflex. You guys have your clever code, so do reflex, do AR test. Um, all of those things that you know that we can keep working on, you can... Um, um, I'm not sure if Epic Books works from home. Unfortunately, I'm not 100% positive about that one. Um, but if it does, you know, let me know. I'm not sure about that one. Um, but just do all those different activities that I have had you guys do. Um, and on the Chromebooks, if you guys have access to internet and a device to do that, um, I highly encourage you to keep up with Reflex um, and your reading um, on your own, just your independent reading. So we definitely don't wanna let that fall away. All right, guys, I hope that you guys all know that you are a Glenn Duffy lion. You are loved, you are imaginative, you are optimistic, you are needed, and most importantly, you are valued.